teams on Alabama's pre-October schedule had a winning record last season. The Ole Miss game on October 4 will be the Crimson Tide's first outing in 2014 against a team that had a winning record in 2013. Alabama plays West Virginia, Florida Atlantic, Southern Miss and Florida and has an open date before visiting the Rebels. At 6-6. Florida Atlantic had the best 2013 record among the Tide's first four 2014 opponents. Zero victories for West Virginia against teams ranked in the top two of the app poll. The Mountaineers are 0-7 against the number two opponents and 0-10 versus number one opponents. West Virginia has scored two victories over teams ranked number three and the Mountaineers have 40 victories in 138 games against ranked opponents. Zero Alabama players have rushed for at least 1,000 yards in three different seasons. RB TJ Yeldon of Daphne is the first Alabama player to eclipse 1,000 rushing yards in each of his first two seasons with the Crimson Tide, becoming the fifth Alabama player with two 1,000 yard seasons. Alabama's other two-time 1,000 yard rushers are Johnny Musso, 1,970-71, Bobby Humphrey, 1,986-87, Sean Alexander, 1,998-99, and Kenneth Darby, 2,004-05. Seven victories without a loss in August games for Alabama. The Crimson Tide defeated Ohio State 16-10 in the kickoff classic at East Rutherford, NJ, on August 27, 1986, in its first game in the eighth month, and it has won all six August games since. West Virginia has a 5-3 record in August. Ten consecutive season opening games won by West Virginia. The Mountaineers most recently started a season 0-1 in 2003 when they lost their opener 24-17 to Wisconsin. Ten consecutive seasons in which Alabama has won at least its first three games, the longest streak in the Crimson Tide's history. For more of AL.com's comprehensive coverage of the SEC, go to our SEC page, 12 consecutive victories in season opening games by Alabama, the Crimson Tide's longest streak has an SEC team. The Crimson Tide's most recent loss in a season opening game came 2017 to UCLA on September 1, 2001. The 12 game streak is not the school record. Alabama opened its season with a victory 30 straight times from 1904 through 1934. Alabama did not field a team in 1918, only the final two of those victories came as an SEC member. 14 victories in 33 previous games against SEC opponents for West Virginia, which has lost its past three games against SEC members. 19 of the Mountaineers' games against the SEC have come against Kentucky. 24 players on West Virginia's roster are from Florida, the same as the number of West Virginians who are Mountaineers. 31 consecutive games with at least 20 points for Alabama the longest streak in school history. The Crimson Tide has not been held to fewer than 20 points in a game since a 9-6 overtime loss to LSU on November 5, 2011. That broke a streak of 27 consecutive games with at least 20 points for Alabama. 35 seasons since Alabama defeated a member of the Big 12 or its predecessor, the Big 8, in a regular season game. The Crimson Tide beat Nebraska 23 on September 2, 1978. Since then, Alabama has played two regular season games against members of the conference, losing to Oklahoma in 2002 and 2003. Alabama has gone 5-2 against Big 12-slash-Big 8 members in bowls since beating Nebraska. 99 consecutive app polls in which Alabama has been ranked, the longest streak in the nation. The Crimson Tide's current streak is the third longest in SEC history, behind the 209 straight polls achieved by Florida from 1990 and 2002 and the 105 in a row by Alabama from 1991 into 1997. 100 victories in 200 previous games on national television for West Virginia. The Mountaineers are 199-1 when playing on national TV. 
169 consecutive games without being shut out for Alabama, a school record. Alabama's most recent shutout came 9-0 to Auburn on November 18, 2000.